Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would do a quick get ready with me. We are going to be doing a casual date night look. My husband and I are going to go grab some dinner and I just thought it would be fun to get ready with you guys. So I'm going to try my best to show you guys everything that I'm using. We're going to go for a very like bronzy look today. It's kind of like a transition from summer to fall, um, I am very excited for fall to be here. I am 100% that fall girl. I uh, I love sweaters and boots and anything pumpkin. Not even sorry about it. So that being said, let's get started. So I have been really excited about fall. I know it's August. Yes, I'm the girl that counts down until the pumpkin spice latte is back. And I'm very upset at how late that's going to be this year. By the way, August 30th, come on. Um, I am starting with the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. Um, I love, love, love a glowy base. Summer, fall, winter, I don't care. Glow. I want glow. So we're going to start there. Um, but yeah, so I've already purchased some pumpkin flavored things. Um, I had some pumpkin spice Cheerios the other day for breakfast. Delicious. Don't even care. Um, and I was at Target the other day and I actually went ahead. I saw that the Sugar Fix line has some pumpkin themed jewelry. So naturally I picked some of those up. Super cute. One was a pumpkin spice latte uh, pair of earrings and the other was a little trio. It had like some huggy hoops with a little leaf on them pumpkin and I think some acorns. Either way, super cute. Definitely bought both of those. All right, so for foundation, I'm actually going to be mixing. I'm going to mix the e.l.f. Halo Glow and my L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. In the Halo Glow, I am shade 2, which is their light. And in the L'Oreal, I am shade 410, which is the ivory shade. So I'm just going to mix those up on the back of my hand and apply it with a damp beauty blender. So another thing that I've been really excited about now that fall is coming, um, all the clothes, sweaters, boots. I've already bought some boots. Um, but I have had kind of a hard time finding some clothes that I'm liking. I have had some recent changes to my body just with, um, I was recently diagnosed with Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism, so I have had some, some changes. Some are a little easier to deal with and others are not. The uh, weight gain was a very, very tough one for me. I've got a little bit more of a complicated history with that. And uh, so instead of trying to punish myself in any way, shape, or form for something that I have no control over, I have just been trying to embrace it and just find some find some things that I feel good in and that make me feel comfortable. And it's been a little bit of a struggle. Um, I'm definitely excited about fall because I love a good comfortable jacket or sweater with some jeans, some boots, some fun earrings. Um, and I love the fall color palette when it comes to makeup. Like, I just... I don't, something about it, the jewel tones, the really warm, rich browns. I just, ugh, I love everything fall. There's nothing about fall that I don't like. So like I said, I've already purchased some boots. I, what else have I purchased? Some earrings. I haven't really found, I think I got one like kind of like silky blouse from Target. It's like the cream blouse and it's got like little black spots all over it. It's, it's really cute. It's very oversized and I think it'd be really cute with a pair of like coated black jeans and some boots. Um, but that's really it so far. I've also been shopping on Poshmark. Um, I have a closet myself, but I have found so many cute things, posh, like clothes, jewelry, makeup. I've had a lot of luck and I've had a really good experience. So if that's something that you guys are interested, you should definitely check that out. Um, so I've been trying to find some new fall stuff. So any recommendations you guys have would be greatly appreciated. 
and I just use my Ulta Beauty under eye concealer on my eyes. It's got a little bit of caffeine, which helps with puffiness. Now I'm going to be taking my ELF Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is the shade Fair Beige, and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand um, so I can control the application under my eyes because I get really bad creasing, like really bad. So that way I can just take him and just tap, and it helps kind of control some of the, the creasing. Um, so that being said, I'm, I'm on the hunt. I've had a little bit of luck. I ordered a sweater yesterday and I've got my eye on this really, really cute jacket. I think it's from Target. Um, but it's kind of like an ivory and black and brown like windowpane plaid print. It's longer, it's like pea coat length, it's got a little belt. So I'm 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 really, really considering got my eye on it. Uh so we'll see what happens there. Pants have been a struggle for me. I don't know about you guys, but pants are a struggle for me. I got thick thighs. And I don't have a narrow waist. I have a kind of more rectangular figure. I'm gonna set my under eye with the Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock setting powder. So we're just gonna go right under the eyeball. Um, so I got thick thighs and I, I don't have a narrow waist, which makes pants very difficult for me because anything that has a slant pocket on me, like doesn't lay right. It just, it gaps and it gapes because those pants are made for like, those pants to go in. My waist doesn't do that. So it's been a bit of a struggle um, for anything that isn't jeans. I've always had very muscular legs. I was an athlete. So um, now that my body is changing, I've had an even more difficult time with that. So if anybody has any recommendations for something that has a lot of stretch or maybe is better for someone that doesn't have like a tiny waist, like I wouldn't, it literally just, it doesn't have, there's not much of a difference. Like I just, I don't have like an hourglass shape. So, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just, I'm looking for things that are flattering to my body type and that I feel comfortable in. So, um, any recommendations, greatly appreciated. Okay, so we've set, and I think now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and work on the eye. And today we're gonna to be using my ABH. This is their Nuvo, Novo palette. It, I love the color story of this, and the shades are super, super creamy and velvety and pigmented. And I just thought that, especially these two shades right here, and this one would be a really nice like bronzy eye look. So that's what we're going to do. All right, almost forgot to prime. We're going to use the ABH eye primer. And I'm going to use this one because it's got a little bit more of an opaque base. It's not white, but it is a very, very, very fair opaque shade. So we're just going to see. Um, and it's just going to give us a little bit more of a vibrant eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm just gonna blend him in, get a nice even base. Okay, so we're all blended and now we're gonna get started. So for the crease shade, I am going to be taking this shade right here, which is called Fleur. So we're just gonna, this is an e.l.f. crease brush. Um, this was like my favorite brush of all time. I use this type of brush more than any other brush. Um, so I'm literally just gonna tap him in here and then we are going to, God, I'm, look, look at that pigment. I'm like barely tapping this brush. And again, keep in mind, this is a fluffy brush. This is not a dense brush. And look at all of the pigment that I'm getting out of this. I'm actually gonna, blend it out because I don't want this pigment that intense there. So we're going to kind of do a mix of like windshield wiper and swirly motions. So 
So what do you guys think? Like, what's your favorite season? Summer, fall, winter? I go personally between fall and winter just because I'm not a super big fan of hot weather. Um, I say that and I live in Georgia. Uh, definitely not the right state for me. Um, I, I just miss winters, to be honest. We don't really get winter here. Um, if you ask someone that's lived in Georgia their whole life, they'll disagree. But like, we get winter here. It gets down to like 20 degrees. And I'm like, okay, that's not really winter. That's just kind of chilly. Like, it's cold. Like, yeah, but that's not winter. Um, and I've kind of lived all over Wisconsin, Connecticut. So I'm like, okay, well, go check those out and let me know what you think. Um, but again, fall is just, I love the flavors, anything pumpkin, apple, spice, cinnamon. I just, I'm a sucker for it. Like think of any kind of basic fall activity and I'm there. No questions asked, I'm there, I wanna go. I wanna be a part of it. I wanna post it on Instagram. I wanna do all of it. Um, I, I've got, I've been this way as long as I can remember the pumpkin spice latte is my life and I will not apologize for it. Like I will be having one on August 30th, whether my dad calls me and tells me that it's too soon or not. And he probably will. Still going to do it. So next we're going to deepen the crease up a little bit with the shade Metro and I'm going to take the ELF eye crease brush. It's just a little bit more dense. Interestingly enough though, for someone that loves fall as much as I do, I actually don't ever get into Halloween. It's not that I don't want to do something, I just never end up doing anything. Um, I don't know why, I really don't. I think it's because, because I'm an introvert and I'm like, oh, that means I have to go outside, I have to go somewhere. No, I'm good, thanks. Um. But I always like brainstorm costume ideas and I always, I'm like, oh, like this is what we're gonna do. And my husband's like, yeah, whatever you wanna do. And then we don't do anything. Um, which is fine. You know, we stay in, we'll watch like Hocus Pocus or we'll watch some kind of like Disney Halloween movie because I don't do scary movies. Um, I get like crazy bad night terrors with scary movies not interested. Like, I won't be able to sleep for weeks um, if I watch a horror movie or a scary movie or anything like that. So, none of that for me. Um, but we'll watch something like, what is it, Sister Witches? I think it's Sister Witches, the one with Tia and Tamara Mallory. Love that one. Um, or we'll watch, like I said, Hocus Pocus. There's another Halloween one that I'm absolutely, obs oh, Practical Magic. I can't believe I almost forgot that. Probably my all-time favorite. Um, if you haven't seen it, you should. Oh my gosh. Sandra Bullock, Nicole Kidman. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so both very good options if you're interested. That's the more introverted route. I'll eat something remotely pumpkin-ish. Or butternut squash. I love squash. I, love, I'm, I think I was just built for fall. I don't know. What, I don't know. Is there like a container up there that the universe has of like basic bitch, basic fall bitch? Because they used a whole jar on me. Um, So that's kind of like our Halloween. And thankfully my husband's never had an issue with that. He's pretty low-key and chill. Um, he's actually more outgoing than I am, um, which I feel is kind of common. Like, has anybody else noticed that, where the guy is always the outgoing one and the girl is the introvert? Because I feel like that's almost always the case. Um, and maybe it's because I, I really don't know. Like, I'm the cat person, he's the dog person. And, uh, it, yeah, I just, if it's the, if it's the other way around for anybody, like, let me know. I'm just curious. 
because I think most of our couple friends are the same way. My parents are that way. Uh, my brother and his fiance are that way. Um, one of my best friends and her husband or her boyfriend, they're that way. Um, I, I just don't know that I know any couples where it's the other way around. So I'd be curious. Let me know. I know I've been doing this for forever, but I feel like they weren't even before. Um, so I'm trying to get it even back out. And I feel like that's good now. Yeah, I feel like that's even. Um, I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher. Okay. So we've got that. Now we're going to take, this is a MAC brush that is so old, you literally can't even see the number on it anymore. We're going to do my favorite part now. And we're going to go in with this shade here. It's like a bronze, but it has kind of a purple blue, like shimmer shift in it. So I thought that'd be really pretty for the lid. So that's what we're going to use. And uh, I'm going to take this and we're going to kind of pack it down. So here we go. Let's see. Oh, you guys, that's so pretty. I'm loving the, the shift. Oh. It's so pretty. And it's not like too over the top, you know, like sometimes some of the shimmers are just for something casual, like I don't want something that nuts. Like I love glitter. I've loved glitter my whole life. I think that's why I love makeup as much as I do, because it sparkles and it's pretty. Like, um, but sometimes like the really chunky glitter or like a bright blue or a lime green, like that's just too much for like a casual date night, you know? Like we're just going to get guacamole and a margarita. Okay, so there we go. There we have it. I think I kind of love that. And for my blue eyes, I think it does a really nice job of making them pop. It's my favorite feature, so I always try and accentuate where I can. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a pop of color. We're going to go in with an Urban Decay, one of their gel pencils. Um, this is the shade LSD. It actually might have changed names by now. I think it had a little sticker on it that fell off. But it used to be called LSD. So that's what I'm using. It's like a dark blue sparkle liner. And I just want to pop a color. Extreme concentration. Does anybody else get like that? Where it's like extreme, like you just like can't can't talk while you're doing it. It's like when you're driving and you don't know where you are, you have to like turn the music down as if that's gonna help you not be lost. What is that? I don't I don't know what that is. So for the contour, we're going to use the Patrick Ta, and this is the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. I have the She's Sculpted set, which is the middle set. How did you guys get into makeup? Like, I was thinking about that today while I was on my way to, like, like my full-time job. Not this is a job. This doesn't pay me at all. This is literally just for fun. Something that I decided to do to try and get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, and just to give me an excuse to play with makeup. Um, but I was thinking about like, how did I get into this? And the answer is like, I don't know. I've just loved makeup as long as I can remember. Um, which is funny because I don't really get it from my mom. Um, my mom and I will play with makeup now and I've kind of, I kind of got her into it and she's learned some more and now she's kind of exploring, which is awesome. Um, but I didn't get my love of makeup and jewelry from her. I'm thinking it came from one of my grandmothers. <laughs> um, they both wore makeup and liked makeup and jewelry. Um, but I think I've kind of been in love with it ever since I can remember. So I, I... 
it wasn't like one specific thing that made me love it and I was kind of you know like joking around earlier when I said probably because it sparkles like that's probably what attracted me to it when I was little um because if it sparkled or it was pink I I wanted it I still like pink just in much smaller doses it's certainly not my favorite color um my favorite color would be blue or green pretty much any shade of blue like I don't think there's a shade of blue that exists that I don't love and I think maybe that's because it's just a power color of mine with my complexion and my hair I just I feel amazing in blue always so maybe that's why I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzer this is one of their newer releases. I have the shade number 300, which is light medium. It is so velvety, so velvety. It blends so easily. So I'm gonna tap this in. This is one of my new Real Techniques brushes from the Enchanted collection, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So we're gonna take it and we're just gonna kind of tap over where I put that contour and I'm going to do more of like a swirly motion and don't worry we are going to do blush as well have no fear I think blush and bronzer are probably my favorite step for the face um I don't know why I love it so much but I do also, I meant to say this at the beginning and I totally forgot. Don't mind my hair. Um, I just got out of the shower before I started this and uh, I have very thin, very fine hair. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my cat, but he's very upset that he's outside right now. Outside of my room, that is. Um, so I'm, I'm just letting it air dry just because I didn't feel like taking a blow dryer to it just felt unnecessary so um that's why it looks a little wonky right now but to be honest my hair always looks wonky because it's almost too low maintenance doesn't ever want to do anything it's a whole it's a whole separate thing anybody with tips and tricks for difficult straight thin fine hair that doesn't want to do any kind of styling please let me know I'm gonna use the ELF Luminous Putty Blush in the shade Maui. This is probably one of my favorite blushes right now. It's just, look at how pretty this color is. It's such a pretty nude, natural, like rosy pink. I think it is absolutely perfect for my skin tone and my preference on what I like in a blush. Um, and so I just, I wear this all the time, all the time. And I actually like to take a little bit and like kind of go along where my bronzer was. I'll go a little bit here. I don't love the full like sunburnt W type thing that everybody likes right now. Maybe it's because I'm fair and I've been sunburnt so much in my life, but I don't want to look sunburnt. <laughs> Sun kissed. Absolutely. I don't, I'm not interested in looking sunburnt and maybe that's an unpopular opinion. I think it's a personal thing. I don't think it looks, I don't think it looks bad on anybody else. I just, for whatever reason, I mentally just cannot get behind it for me. So that's just the me thing. Um, but I do take a little bit and just tap, tap, tap on my, the bridge of my nose. So now we're going to take, um, a ColourPop highlighter and this is the, the shade Stole the Show. It's one of their super shock highlighters. What is next? Oh, let's do brows before I forget because I have forgotten and I hate that because I love the way it looks when my brows are done. It literally will change your whole face, your whole face. And I'm new to that realization like within the last like year or so. I was not on the 2016 like Sharpie brow trend I couldn't get behind it but I'm 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 on the brow game now and uh it changed my life absolutely 
So I think today, again, kind of a, like my lazy option. I'm going to go in with my NYX Fill and Fluff. I like this one because it's, like I said, it's my lazy girl option, 100%. Um, because I just don't, I don't feel like taking like my pen, like if I'm doing a more glam look, I 100% will use their Lift and Snatch pen. Amazing. I love it. Or the Kosas Brow Pencil. Oh, chef's kiss. I love it. Um... And my shades are always ash brown or taupe, something on the cooler side. Um, the warm browns don't ever look right on me. Anything that's too warm, though, doesn't look right. Like a bronzer that's too orange or too warm looks like I put like nacho cheese Dorito all over my face. It does not look good. So I just took my NYX Wonder Pencil. This is the light shade, just to kind of like clean up my brows. And I am going to take this little guy. It came with um, a L'Oreal palette that I bought. And I never really use these things, but I'm gonna take the brush end and just try to like blend that pencil out a little bit. I don't want that harsh line. So that's really the only use that this gets. Okay. So I think we're almost done. I'm going to do a quick set really quick. Quick set really quick. Good job, me. Um, one of my all-time favorites especially for drugstore, but definitely top three, regardless, high-end or drugstore, is the NYX Dewy Finish. This gives my skin the most gorgeous finish. Like, i obsessed. I need to get a fan. I don't have one. I've had one on my Amazon cart for like three weeks now. I haven't bought it. Don't know why. Couldn't tell you. Um... But yes, this is one of my all-time favorites. Favorite high-end is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. Um, but these are my top two. And honestly, I couldn't tell you which one's which as far as they, they're kind of tied for first. I reach for them both equally. Um, but they also have a matte version if you're not a dewy finish type girl or guy. I have or I have dry skin, so anything that's matte tends to suck the oils out, so it kind of scares me a little bit. And uh, I just don't go for it. So before I forget again, we're going to take a brow wax and set these bad boys. And for this, I'm using the Too Faced Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax. It's got a... On this end, it has a little applicator, and then you just pop it off, and it has this little brush and a comb, uh, which is nice. So you can kind of evenly apply. Um, and I forgot that I did want to do a lip, so we're going to do that really quick. I had a lip oil on when I started this video. So now I'm just going to go in, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk pencil. This is the Lip Cheat. I don't know if you can see that. Lip Cheat. I think there's a shade. There's a light, a medium, and a dark depending on your skin tone. And of course, I'm very light. Like freckles and, and sunburns are like a second language to me like people just know when we go somewhere any, anywhere in the summertime people just know like my brother if we're going to the pool the beach on a trip I was like oh did anyone bring aloe and my brother he's always like yeah Kristen brought it and I hate that he's 100% right I absolutely brought it because I don't want to burn I used to resist wearing sunscreen as a child but it was so inconvenient and now I'm like using a whole can every time I've got the sun. It drives my mother crazy. She's like, Kristen, you just bought that can. Like you don't need that much. Well, you should just be glad that I'm putting some on now. 
mom. Like, no, no cancer over here. Please and thank you. So for the actual lipstick, we're gonna use the Michaela by Glam Light. This is the nude one. First of all, I love this packaging. It has a little button. So this is from the Lucky Charms lip kit. So it's the more nude of the two. It's kind of a peachy nude. But I thought it'd be a really pretty color with this eye look that I've done. And I wanted a little bit more of a pink liner. So you can see it's very, very light. Okay, so I changed my mind. I want something a little darker, a little bit more like fall for the lip. So I took the lipstick off. We're still going to use my Charlotte Silvery um, Pillow Talk Pencil, so I'm just going to redo that. Okay, so instead, what I want to do for lipstick is I'm going to use my Milani. This is one of their matte, um, I can't remember the full name of it, but this is one of their matte lipsticks. These are so smooth, they feel so nice on the lip. This is in the shade Pleasure. I think that's better. It's a little bit more brown, not quite as bright and peachy. So we're gonna get my curler out. We're gonna curl these bad boys. To be careful, because sometimes I go in way too hard and end up pinching my eyelid. Does anybody else do that or just me? Because I'm kind of a mess sometimes. So let's get in here and curl. Now that this is dried a little bit, we're gonna go in with my favorite mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess. This is $5. You can get the, this is not the waterproof. The waterproof one is the same. It just looks light blue. This is the false false lash effect. Um, you can get a pack of both of them at Ulta for eight bucks, nine bucks. So you save like a dollar, but um, Again, I have some $30, 30 plus dollar mascara in my drawer that does not perform as well as this one. And this is why I keep coming back to this mascara. I just don't, I mean, come on, look at that. You get volume, you get length, separation, like it's not getting clumpy, which is one of the reasons I typically try to stay away from volumizing mascaras. I find that they make my lashes super clumpy. But this one lifts and lengthens and separates and Define, I mean, this is, this does everything. I don't know how it's only $5, but I would pay $30 for this mascara. This is one of those drugstore brands I would pay high-end money for. So I think we're ready. I think it's time. You don't mind me, I'm gonna set again. So I think it's, uh, I think it's time to get my jacket on and brush my hair. I'm probably going to put it back. Um, but yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time to go. I think it's time to enjoy some guacamole and a margarita because I haven't had a great couple days mentally. Um, had a really tough couple days. Talked a little bit about it at the beginning with the whole clothes thing. Trying not to let it get me down. Makeup's always a great way. I always end up feeling better. Um, after I put makeup on, I just feel more like me and just more beautiful in my own skin, which is the whole point. Um, so I think it's time to treat myself to some guacamole and probably some nachos or fajitas and absolutely a margarita. So I hope you guys get to do something that you love today. I hope you are having a great day. If you're not, I hope it gets better really soon. Um, if not, 
and you have the ability, you know, try to do something that makes you happy. Take some time for you. It is so important to take time to do things that make you happy. Um, and I hope that you have the chance to do that today. So have a fantastic day. Be kind. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.